Hot air fed through a polythene sausage persuades the tomatoes to ripen faster. Then, at one end of this enormous greenhouse, a control box watched over by ICI's experts who monitor feeds of water and chemicals to the roots of the plants. The scientists have broken the tomatoes' normal cycle. These flower and fruit at least five times more often in a year than the ordinary plant, hence their enormous height. The chrysanthemums next door, if not as tall, are just as impressive. A whole year's growth achieved in just ten weeks. But how's it done? Well, well these flowers would flow naturally in the, in the autumn, but uh, we've imitated these conditions by giving them the long days and then short days artificially, and this brings them into flower this, at any time that you wish them to come into flower. Ten weeks back, the story starts with tiny cuttings planted out in boxes subjected in no uncertain way to the elements and then conned into believing that it's their time of year for flowering, autumn. Day is turned into night at the flick of a switch. The starless plastic night begins to unfold above the blooms to shut out the awkward day. Here the sun is made to set in just 15 minutes. So whilst for us humans it's the springtime month of May, here on ICI's experimental farm, at least as far as these chrysanthemums are concerned, it's a dark, rather moist September night.